Do you want to do the introduction? No. <laughs> Sorry. You can keep that footage in. <laughs> hey, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and today I am very subdued, but I'm still here with my good friend Lynn Gillespie. I'm with the Grow Network. Lynn's with the Living Farm, mm -hmm. and uh, I have just come back from a week-long trip in Mexico, where I had that experience. <laughs> and I mean, I have. It, I've never felt so out of control in my life. I mean, that stuff was coming out. Oh, man. There was no stopping it. There was actually no warning. Like, the sphincter muscles don't work. The only thing I could do is, like, get into the shower as fast as possible. You know, that set of clothes just went right into a garbage bag. Oh, <laughs> like, no. That's all done, right? That's not good. Oh, that was awful. Uh, but you're recovering. I'm recovering. It's slowly. Yeah. Yeah. slowly so we have a wonderful garden here i really can't stand the thought of eating right <laughs> now but i will be back oh you know, yeah i'll be back in full force probably you know the way these things are when you recover you like get really hungry yeah like your body says hey time to eat now <laughs> <laughs> we've been fasting for five days <laughs> you know so, yeah yeah cool so when i came back so you'd been doing the water and while i was gone yeah, water. which was awesome mm -hmm. But we had, I'm, I'm like, what happened, Lynn? Did somebody <laughs> sit down on the peas? Like, what happened? Let's but, go look at the peas. Yeah, so we'll most of this looks here. great, but that, that, was, that was different. Yeah. Yeah. So the peas so, have decided to lean over. We put on one of our low trellises to yeah. kind of help hold them up. Um, yeah, so we just installed this before the shoot, and this, this wasn't here last week, so you're not yeah. imagining things. <laughs> Yeah, and this is new. This is really cool. So I want, I want to take a second to tell people about it. So Lynn came up with this trellising system. And I was like, hey, Lynn, why don't you just use rebar and PVC? Because, you know, you can cut rebar with a, with a, um, it's real easy to cut rebar with a hacksaw. And Lynn was like, no, we made a requirement that this is something a woman could do with absolutely no tools. No tools. Right. Wow. So this is called the easy trellis system. Mm -hmm. And these, actually, this is at the lowest setting, and then there's a middle setting, and then there's the really high setting. Uh -huh. And so this whole back garden is going to be trellis this year. We're going to go in vertical probably next vertical. week. Okay. And, yeah, you can... Nowhere but up. <laughs> <laughs> the system is so easy, and the other beautiful thing about it is you can throw your frost blankets over the top of it. and. So it's super simple to build, and the directions are on the Living Farm website. Oh, you head over to Lynn's website. Yeah. We'll see if we can get a link for you. But um, really, you can just go to Home Depot. These are all standard PVC parts, and they'll even cut the they'll, PVC they'll for you. They'll cut it for you, which is the nice yeah. thing, if, if you smile. If you be nice, <laughs> be nice. Be nice, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, this is a new variety of pea to me, and I had the exact same problem uh, mm -hmm. laying over. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the peas, they come with, like, trellising optional and typically I can get away without trellising but uh, this particular variety not but this is part of the learning this is why it never gets boring this is There's the floppy always something going on this is the floppy pea variety. yeah but you got yeah, lots and, you know and lots we have, of peas we have really got to harvest all these guys because they're just like almost a little bit too dry here so yep, but we, if we harvest them now they're cookable and edible and totally and they're the pea plants are done blooming oh, and yeah I'm sorry, it's nothing to do with the peas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love uh, them. They're great. No, they're delicious. I'm just... You're just not ready to uh, eat them. I'm just not ready to <laughs> eat right now. <laughs> but the peas, um, as the heat of the summer comes on, the peas are just going to turn brown, and they're going to go, I am sorry, but I am done. Oh, and yeah. then we're going to take those out, we're going to put in green beans. And they'll, they'll, have, they'll, they'll be a nice mulch for... We'll actually throw them in the compost pile, and we'll mulch okay. with some grass clippings. It just keeps the garden a little cleaner. Because yeah. one of the um, the high performance garden characteristics is your garden is the envy of the neighborhood, mm. and so I'd like to keep my gardens really, really clean. So when somebody comes over, they go like, "Ooh, we want that reaction." So she's into the aesthetics. <laughs> this is with a last name like Wildcraft. I am not into the aesthetics, so that's why Lynn. That, is, that's my job. That's why pretty. Lynn is doing this. Yeah. But there's also another conversation that if you don't leave a lot of debris in there, that you're not having habitat for insects. And exactly. Stuff, so, exactly. Yeah. I like to. I like to keep it cleaned up. It's such a small yeah. garden; it's easy to clean. Well, we'll we'll, so, we'll pretend we're Martha Stewart. There you go. There we go. We'll get we'll get our peas. Our garden is perfect. 
oh, of course. <laughs> until so, you get to this end. <laughs> until we, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so, yep, Kale's doing great. Char's still producing. We got our couple of baby tomatoes. Woo. Oh, my God. So number cute. one. And we left yeah. tag in there so we know what it is. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. So I get to eat it? If you want, you go for it. I can't handle a tomato right now. I'm going to leave it for you. And in a couple days, it's still it. going to be there. You know, it's right. It's a little bit early. It's, it's right. A little, it's, it'll hold another day or two. Yeah. So these are going to go up because okay. we got them packed in so tight. So yeah. next week, we're going to prune them. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a single stem system. Okay, got it. And so we're going to prune and, and pop up. them up. And, and the cucumbers will go up. The winter squash goes up. This, this is our vertical garden back here. So got that'll it. be great. Yeah. And then our poor, poor cabbages. We biffed it on the cabbage, didn't we? We did biff it on the but cabbage. But it's kind of cool. It looks like, <laughs> it kind of looks like my guts right now. <laughs> oh, that's why it's mimicking you. Yeah. So what happened here is we left them a little too long mm -hmm. and they're getting ready to bloom now. So they're coming up. They're going to make, they could make humongous seed heads here. So um, it happens once in a while. You know, they just don't, they they bolt before you can get them picked so that's okay okay so our and you and you gave me a, a feeding schedule that apparently i have to pay attention to <laughs> it's easy down over done got it <laughs> yes yeah. so yeah well it's true i mean we're this is you've got a very small amount of soil here exactly. and we're pulling a lot out of this, this thing. there's so much food in this garden so we have to keep feeding it yeah. Exactly. You're asking the plant to perform at super athlete level, so mm -hmm. you have to feed it at that level. So. You know, I had a, I was on a radio show a couple of years ago, and and this couple called in, and they said, "Hey, Marjorie, uh, we had a garden. We put the garden in, and for two years it produced like crazy. And then they said, and then it just petered out. And they said, do you uh -huh. think it was chemtrails? And I said, well, let's talk about a few other options first. Yeah. You know? And I said, what were you? feeding the garden you know mm -hmm. were you were you plenishing compost or seaweed or whatever and they said you got to feed a garden and I'm like <laughs> yeah okay let's go back to that you know yeah you gotta you know yes. we're taking minerals we're and taking away we have to you have to replenish it's, it it's so a circle it yeah. was pretty eye-opening to them so pretty yeah. fun and that's one of the things we teach in the course is how to figure out how much how when. much which plants when we, we have all that kind of mapped out, so it's it's pretty easy. Yeah. Now, these cabbages are still salvaged. There's, there's big chunks of that that I can oh, yeah. ferment. Oh, yeah. You can get in there. Sauerkraut. And make some kraut. Make some kimchi. Oh. <laughs> Put it away for later. <laughs> Just, oh. <laughs> That'd be That'd good. actually be good, though, to preserve, because we're going to try and have this thing produced for the, through the winter. For the, the production we get here, I'm going to save through the winter. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then it's time to get some greens. Mm -hmm. You know, you can. I I saw mine, mm -hmm. and then put them in the freezer bag and freeze them about a quarter pound at a time. That's they're, a really good they're idea. They're soft when you pull them out of the freezer, but they're delicious. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, when you saute, I'll, I'll start doing that because there's oil. way too much here. Yeah. Yeah, saute it in some oil, and then that oil helps keep it from getting weird in the freezer. So, okay. Yeah. What's your favorite? Olive oil or? Uh, avocado oil is my favorite. Oh, sweet. Now, do you any doing the garlic or that with it, or just leave it plain and uh, throw that I in later? I leave it plain because my family likes very mild tasting, but, oh, man, garlic would be great in there, or the garlic shoots would be great oh, in there. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, that would be really good. Okay. So then up here, we have the squash plants. They're doing good. They're doing good, but I, I want to take a little hole, but that's not too Well, much. I think that's from, I think you got some hail a couple nights ago. This, oh, really? this garden got pounded by an inch and a quarter of rain in less than 30 minutes. It which was. For us, that's like a crazy rain. Out at the farm, we barely got a sprinkle, and we're only five minutes away. Yeah, yeah. I slept through that. I was sick. It's <laughs> 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 like, uh, let so it rain. So what we want to do is we're going to take, we'll take this stuff out. Okay, so we're going to pull it out. Put it in the compost. Pull it out by the roots or just... Those yeah, whatever you can get. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, the soil is warm. That feels good. Oh, that does feel good. Yeah, yeah. the sun warming the west side here. I'm not doing such a good job of getting the roots, but I don't think these so guys are coming back. What this mulch will do is it's going to help hold in the moisture because we have this sandy loam soil. 
and it tends to dry really quickly, which is why the inch and a quarter of rain did not hurt this garden at all. And we're going to come in here and we're going to remulch this because we don't want to weed because my jar is not big enough. That weed jar is surprisingly small. I, yeah. I really am very, very impressed. I've been showing people that like, oh, I put that in the <laughs> I got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really like all there. Um, <laughs> There are people that would say I was never all there, but you know, this so, is this is not a good time to do banking. <laughs> so we're just going to mulch this down, and it's it'll be pretty, it'll be functional, and then we'll just let the peas go into the compost pile and let that break down. Did you know that this garden can actually feed itself? Once you do the initial feeding, if you will compost. What you take out. Yeah, it can just keep going. It can regenerate, wow. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That, that's useful because, you know, sustainability and, oops, I broke a little. I got you a snack. Oh. Another little worm. Oh. <laughs> Go live over there. I hope that lived through that. I mean, that's kind of a, an adventure. Yeah. yeah, so we do have some chewing going on, which mm -hmm. the entire valley is now covered in little green worms. Everybody's got them. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been doing the Captain Jacks. Uh, we did it once while you were gone, and we're going to do it again tonight. And that really, for the lettuce, it, it cut all the worms out of the lettuce that were eating that. And, and we just do it once a week through the summertime, and it just keeps, keeps, it all keeps the population down okay. so you don't have to eat them. <laughs> so. Well, why don't we why don't we do the cleanup and the harvest, and we'll we'll show them at the end what we what we actually okay, collected. Okay, great. Sound good? We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> it might be might be because I have to. All right. Hey. Okay. So. Wow. I'm like, man, this is a workout. <laughs> like, you could really develop some biceps with <laughs> with cabbage. <There's>, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so oh. Yeah. I'm gonna weigh these guys. Yeah. Here we right, catch. Yeah. So, I'm going to weigh these guys. We'll put it in the records. But there's a lot of good stuff. Even if it did bolt, there's a lot here. Oh, yeah. You can just go through there and clean that up. And, you know, and fermenting this stuff is so easy. It's so easy. It's really easy. Yeah. And I had some fermented cabbage I kept in my storeroom in Texas for four years. Mm -hmm. Unrefrigerated. I mean, it was mushy, but it was still edible. Yeah, and it's got all those great bacteria for yeah. your guts. Yeah, it's so amazing. So you can, you can store this food a long time. Mm -hmm. And so we got... And we got our peas. These we, are the things that we needed to harvest. We tonight. did the pea rescue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then you can pick and choose what you want since you're back. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing with some of the chard and kale, and I'll harvest and weigh it. But I'm gonna do that, you know, saute yeah, it and bag it and freeze it. I do about a quarter pound at a time. Yeah, that sounds yeah, like a good which amount. Which is like a bag full. Yeah, uh -huh. good. Yeah, so we got one more thing you got to do tonight before I know. we finish. All right, so it's time to thin the red cabbage. So here's a little, look at how cute our little babies are. These were from seed, if you remember, right? Mm -hmm. It was not that long ago. And so we've got to do the thing, like choose which one. Right. you got to just grow up one. Uh -huh. And see, look at this. This this one is really clear. This one's big and strong. But this one's kind of off to the, these two are kind of off to the side and weak. So I'm going to do it. Do it. And then you can eat them. So oh, yeah, that's right. Waste. They are greens. And saute them. Saute them. Why don't you toss that in with a... Piece. All right. Now this little grouping, it's a little harder to choose. Tom, are you able to get in on these guys? Okay. I think this one, even though it's a little crooked, is going to be better than, I don't know, what do you think, Lynn? How about that one? That actually? is a beauty. Yeah. I really like its shape. This one's a little bigger, but it's kind of crooked, and I think. It's, yeah. Yeah. But you can eat it. Yes. You when can you're eat ready. crooked cabbage. <laughs> They'll be sweet. These will be really sweet, tasty. There you go, guys. And there you are. You did it. Good job. Oh, Sometimes that's hard to do. It really is. But you can eat this. Yes. So it's, eat nothing's it's, wasted. It's food. Yep. All right. All right. So we got the garden mulch. We got the peas out. We're looking good. Yep. We got some trimming done around it. And yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you're going to be touring this. You need to have it looking good. I know. I'm going to become the Martha Stewart. <laughs> Lynn is totally upgrading me. I'm. I'm like go. the. The shabby gardeners. <laughs> as gonna, long as it all eats well. All right. Yeah. Lynn's going to improve my image. <laughs> anyway, this is Marjorie. We'll see you all next week on 
Adventures in High Performance Gardening, and this is Lynn Gillespie with the Living Farm Cafe and the Living Farm. Yep, we and got both. We got both. So we'll see you next week, and I'm probably going to be perkier. Yes, we'll take care of her. We'll yeah. get her perk back. <laughs> <laughs> see you all later.